Well, books are more than stacks of paper. They're an art form that tells stories and connect us to each other. The Artist Book House is dedicated to bringing literacy and book art to more people. Joining us now is Chicago visual artist Katie Chung, who loves the art of book binding and teaches how to sew your own books. Welcome, Katie. Hi, thank you for having me. Okay, now this is not something you hear about every day. It <laughs> isn't. Yes, yeah, so yeah. How, did you, how did you get into this? I got into this because I um, stumbled upon a community book bindery in college. I was at the Art Institute here in oh. Chicago. Um, I fell in love with, I'm an artist, we all have sketchbooks. I was a broke college student. I wanted to know how to make my own um, and then I just got obsessed with it. I've been teaching um, for years now and I just love sharing the skill. That's so cool and you're going to show us some of that skill in a bit but yes, first the event that you're part of is with the Artist Book House. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about that organization? Yeah, the Artist Book House is an organization of really bookbinders, uh, writers, all different types of makers. Um, we're trying to come together and like establish a bookbinding hub in this city. Most major cities have a bookbinding hub but we want to establish like a permanent location. Um, that's one of the big thing I want to talk about. We are yeah. looking for a permanent location. If anyone has any, um, tips yeah, or yes. yeah. So right now you guys are kind of operating just as, as pop-ups. Is that right? Pop-ups. We're also doing a lot of workshops in the Colvin House up in Edgewater, and that's where my um, workshop will be up in Saturday. Uh, tell us about some of the tools that you would need when you're doing book binding. We see some of these on the table here. Yeah. So I have a couple fancy tools out, but really you need a needle uh -huh. and thread. That's okay. really it. Um, there's some things like bone folders, some beads wax. These are things that kind of help, um, like an awl to pre-poke holes. Uh -huh. But really, it's string and needle. Okay, That's crazy. can you show us a little yeah, bit? Yeah. So I have a pamphlet stitch book. This is one of like the a very easy stitch. Um, okay. You'll do this in um, many intro classes. Okay. I sewed like half of it. Great. It's very much just in and out weaving. Okay. We'll finish it together. Can we to help you hold it? Yeah. There you Beautiful. go. So, it's, so when people come to your class, they'll, you'll get all the products to them and they'll sit there and be able to learn how to do this? Yes, so we have yeah. all the paper and supplies provided. You just come with a good attitude and ready to come home with a book. That I can do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we actually, so this is a pamphlet stitch book, but the yeah. um, workshop I'll have on Saturday yeah. is actually going to be focusing on the French link stitch. So it's a little bit more complex. Oh, it's a little wow. bit more decorative. How many oh, different wow. kinds of stitches are there? Yes. Oh, it goes on and on. Yeah. Yeah. You can Beautiful. make all your own right stitches. Yep. Um, but this is the one I'll be focusing on Saturday. Okay. It's a really great stitch. My uh -huh. favorite part about it is that it lays flat. It's easy to draw and write in here. Oh, what do you think the draw goodness. is to book binding? Because I feel like now people are just like, oh, I can go buy a journal. Why would I do yeah. this? I mean, I think after the pandemic, people want to get their hands dirty. Yeah. People mm -hmm. want to do things. People also want to come together and make and learn together. Um, I, I love having bookbinding classes with adults and kids. The conversations that happen, it's just, yeah. it's beautiful. And is it, I mean, is it always this larger group that you're talking about? Yes. I mean, it looks like you're also it's, binding actual written text, right? Or Yes, we do things like letterpress. We have so many different types of makers and like, artists in the city uh -huh. so the book really is a form where it's a chance for us to get together printers um letterpress printers it's sewers it's paper makers you know if you think about the process of a book there's so many different materials and processes so let's all Why come together do we don't have a hub in chicago you know um things just shift yeah uh we're just ready to find a new one that's what we're going to focus on okay excellent that. so if people want to donate or if they want to come yes. to your class how do they do that so please sign up online uh -huh. we have three more spots available for this saturday okay. um and then we have upcoming events like lectures panels different workshops so yeah, be on the lookout. Yeah, I was going to ask how many like events you have upcoming. Like, is it like monthly or is it'll it... be monthly? Okay. Yes. And how much experience do you have to have? That's important to know because you can't don't have stop. to have any. Some of them, um, they might require like a little bit of experience. But my class personally, no, no experience. I can imagine, like, if I was gifted one of these um, notebooks, I, it, it, what a special gift that would be. Like, it's if you were so actually cool. able yes. to do that yourself. Yeah, um, that is awesome. That. Thank you. Yeah. Katie, thank you so much. Thank you so this much. is really cool. Yeah. The Sewing Book Workshop is selling out quick, as she mentioned. It is this Saturday, November 18th at 11 a.m. at Colvin House. If you'd like to register or learn more about the Artist Book House or donate a space to them, yes. head over to artistbookhouse.org. Thanks so much for being here, Katie. Yes, thank you.